And we are joined by the vice chairman of the Intelligence Committee up on Capitol Hill, Senator Kit Bond. Thank you, Senator, so much for being here. I first want to start with sort of the basic premise. I know you've expressed your disappointment that the administration released these memos. Is your, are you suggesting that Barack Obama, in choosing to release these memos, has made our country less safe? I think the whole uh, operation is making our country less safe. When it comes to national security, uh, the difference between President Obama's campaign rhetoric and national security could not be more stark. Uh, I think it was a very bad idea to release the memos, uh, the flip-flops now on whether he's going to prosecute people, uh, create further chaos and uncertainty in the intelligence community and the other national security areas. Why is it harmful to, to, for the administration to put out memos describing techniques that are no longer happening It's not, and, and that were in the public realm anyway? Well, they weren't in the public realm. Uh, when you look at the, at the memoranda, you will see how tightly they control the ability to, uh, to change the attitudes of terrorists. They were not using techniques any as strong as we use on our Marines and Siri School and pilots and SEALs. And they had to do it under very strict limits, which indicated they couldn't be hurt. They'd be limited time duration. Now, that, number one, uh, uh, takes the cuts of feet out from our interrogators. Number two, it tells al-Qaeda and other terrorists that you have absolutely nothing to worry about from enhanced interrogation techniques. So we are much less likely to get information. Senator Bond, uh, as you may know, Senator Leahy, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, ha has announced that uh, he may go in a different direction than even President Obama had suggested, sort of looking at the 9-11 Commission, a nonpartisan, uh, outside of Congress kind of commission to look at this. Senator Leahy says, no, this, this is going to come up in a partisan fashion inside the Senate Judiciary Committee. Is that its appropriate venue? No, uh, we are looking at it. Uh, chairman uh, Dianne Feinstein uh, on the Intelligence Committee and I as the Vice Chairman will be looking into it. So much of this is confidential or should have been confidential. We have been monitoring this. The leaders of the House and Senate and the Intelligence Committees at the time were briefed on these techniques. Now, uh, to go back and start penalizing or punishing a previous administration is what a banana republic does. Our country has never done that. And I think this is a terrible step in the right, in the wrong direction. So much of uh, the the argument for releasing the memos and putting this uh, behind us in terms of uh, practices that administrations condone has to do with the image of the world. We got one question via Twitter. Someone asking, "Do you think at all whether these practices led to some of the abuses like we saw at Abu Ghraib? To know that this was something that was accepted uh, under U.S. law?" Abu Ghraib was a bunch of criminal acts by un undisciplined, untrained reservists. They all went to prison. The CIA interrogators uh, had never had any kind of approval to go that far. What this does is fuel Al Jazeera, uh, the uh, uh, Al Qaeda public pu publicity machines, and gives our enemies throughout the world fodder because they won't look at the limits that we put on interrogation or the real benefits that the American people got in assuring their safety because we did question these detainees. Senator Bond, the other day you called when uh, President Obama went to Langley and talked to the troops there at the CIA, you called that a bit of a pep rally. Um, I he has made it pretty clear, though, that the actual interrogators, the people who carried out uh, these interrogations, are sort of outside the zone here of what Obama's opening up to be looked into, no? Well, he's also said that what they did was uh, wrong. Uh, in the campaign, he called it torture. When he says it was wrong, we made mistakes. Speaking as a president, that means that anybody else in the future, in the CIA, uh, who follows a legal opinion of the Department of Justice, uh, whether it's this administration or any other administration, is going to be held up to having done something wrong. We will look in the Intelligence Committee at how these techniques were used. If we find that somebody did go outside the law and commit torture, then that person should be, uh, uh, should be dealt with. But when they stay within the very carefully defined lines, this was far, far away from any kind of torture. It's less than we use on our military enlistees. 
Senator Bond, uh, one quick question. Vice President Cheney wants now all of the memos uh, released. How does that square, though, with the concerns that you have about more information coming out and information coming out? Is it that so much is already out there that, it, that it's in the public interest to put it out? Or are you concerned about further disclosures still? Well, what he had suggested it should be disclosed is what has now been, uh, le- uh, been stated by others officially is that uh, the two detainees that we most frequently talk about gave more than half of the intelligence information on how al-Qaeda works, who the people are. It led to arrest of top uh, uh, al-Qaeda leaders, right. and it protected us from planned attacks on the United States, particularly a planned uh, airplane bombing of, of Los Angeles. Senator Kit Bond, Republican from Thank Missouri, you. Vice Chairman of the Intelligence Committee, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Rick and David.